it's essentially a tornado over water. Um, and the instability created by the body of water essentially helped the tornado form. We call it a water spouse. You're talking about potentially uh, 80, 90, 100 mile an hour winds um, circulating. And really, if it, if, it's gonna, if it goes through you, it's not going to, you know, suddenly be a nice a nice tornado and, and decide to change direction because there's something in the way it will go through you essentially it's the same mechanism uh, for a thunderstorm uh, which is essentially instability so you need warm and humid air near the surface cool air aloft then increasing winds with height we call it wind shear and then a trigger mechanism like a front uh, for example near the equator or uh, in uh, in the tropical regions where the water water temperatures are higher but still over there i mean uh, water spots are usually weaker than tornadoes <laughs> the, uh, the amount of heat is limited in our region from end of july until mid of mid of mid october um because uh, it's essentially it's the same frequency as for um hurricanes uh basically uh because we need warm water A water spout can make landfall and uh, uh, create a quite violent uh, wind gust. Still very dangerous. Um, and I know it, it's um, it's it drags attention, so people want to want to take their cell phone uh, before uh, before running uh, away from it. But still, uh, it's to watch from a high distance. Because of climate change, once a thunderstorm forms, uh, there's more potential for it to be more violent. So more violent winds or, you know, and or rain associated with it because there's mo more potential energy. So maybe more violent uh, tornadoes 